Welcome back to The Grind for an exciting video on how to fly Narleth. I recently got him, I've been flying him for about a day now, and I've got some footage to share. First is a sapphire run and then some garnet runs, and I'm going to highlight some of his abilities along the way. This base is 1 billion, has level 50 towers on the kill island, and then about level 40 towers on the long island. And I was only able to manage this because I did have havoc and because of the way the towers were set up, allowing me to use Whisper of Madness on both of those flax. So you can see I use Mind Spike and Whisper of Madness, and then I cloak immediately to dodge the damage. And then I let the cloak expire to get the damage boost and start attacking the ice turret and I healed too early I would want to delay that heal a little bit longer and then those flax died and then I used the spell to gain rage so you can see I almost lost all my health it won't let you kill yourself but you want to be careful that there's no more towers to deal damage after you use that spell so again here I spiked the red mage wom the dark flak and then use mind spike again at the back island to take out some towers and using whisper of madness on a tower on the front of that island is a great way to slow your flight down and allow you to damage towers from a distance so you're not um, getting too close and taking damage and then these farms and mills took a lot to kill them but with his spells i was able to destroy them and complete the base 100 percent this next base has level 56 towers and the first run i did was with level 18 uh, then I did it with level 20 later, but this clip really shows how you're able to blink kind of like Kalisid. So you do your combo and then I was able to blink all three tower shots and then blink again to dodge the second earth flak shot and then again to dodge the third earth flak shot while I continued to shoot it down. And I had to blink several times because otherwise the tower would have killed me at that low level. Now I'm going to do this attack again with a garnet dragon and uh, complete the whole base but in this one i cloaked a little too early so the earth flak shot went off a little bit delayed so i got hit by the first one then i dodged the second one and the third one as you could see there and then proceeded to destroy the rest of the base i did mess up a little bit i'm still getting used to the spells here so i was pushing the wrong spell a couple times he does have a lot of spells and you have to like continually use spells pretty frequently so it does take some time to get used to it, and I'm still working on it. I've got the initial combo down pretty well, but then after that, it's a little bit confusing. This clip has Garnet level Narleth against level 57 towers on a long middle island. You can see the same Mind Spike Wom Cloak spell rotation, and it, this one really shows how the Mind Controlled Tower can really help to keep your distance away from the other towers so you can Mind Spike from far away and destroy the towers from a distance. And then you can see me struggling a little bit because of unfamiliarity. Um, and then again, the low health and then using that rage spell, you wanna be very careful that there's no more towers left to kill you. And then these towers took a little bit of damage too, um, but I was able to manage destroying them for 100% again. This base was very challenging with uh, Garnet level Narleth against level 60 towers with 1.75 billion defense power. And I was having some trouble getting the blinking down because of the high stress but i was able to with the cloak expiring kind of tank through this uh earth flak with the heel on top of it and did manage to get through that kill island so we're going to break it down a little bit here a little slower you can see the mind spike to kill those two towers immediately after use wom and then immediately cloak to dodge the damage and then i let the boost expire and then i attacked the earth flak and healed to get the extra ammo and regain some health. And then this wasn't the most clean finish, but I was able to finish most of the rest of the base. These farms and mills took a lot of health or had a lot of health and I was kind of fumbling around with my spells. I was clicking the wrong one for a bit there. So I did not get 100%, but I got pretty close left 3% with that little bit on the farm left over. So I hope this was helpful. I'm actually really enjoying Narleth a lot so far, and I'm excited to get some more gameplay out there. I do have him now maxed at Emerald for my level and got some gear on him. So I will be getting some gameplay coming out shortly, so keep an eye out for that.